Handling waste is often a big problem today, and for many companies, waste management is a significant expense in the annual budget. But in many cases, a simple solution can be found. It's possible to be more efficient and to open up recycling opportunities while saving money at the same time. Rooney, the Danish machine manufacturing company, has a wide range of exciting solutions for handling a variety of different waste products. Rooney specializes in waste compaction, in situations where the volume of waste needs to be greatly reduced. The process can be manually controlled or fully automated. The heart of the compactor is a powerful worm gear. Its shape and strength allow it to compact virtually any material. The advantages of a worm compactor are that it has a large capacity and a high load pressure. It's also very well suited to continuous process lines and can handle a harsh environment. Companies which use large amounts of polystyrene packaging, like those in the electronic and fishing industries, can benefit greatly if they minimize their handling of used packaging. J.P. Salmon in Esbjerg use Rooney's biggest worm compactor, the SK380H, to process up to 1,500 empty fish boxes a day. A pre-crusher breaks up the boxes before they pass down into the slowly turning worm drive, which is driven by a 15 kilowatt motor. In order to achieve a uniform compaction, the load is held by a set of hydraulic jaws. These are controlled by a digital control panel, which constantly measures how much current the motor is using, and opens or closes the jaws depending on the load pressure. Polystyrene boxes are well known as a difficult material to compact, especially if they're wet and greasy, but a Rooney compactor can produce a stable, solid output with a density of around 300 kilos per cubic meter. The SK380H has a capacity of 300 boxes an hour. If your capacity needs a less, Rooney's SK240H compactor may be the right solution. It works in the same way as the larger machine and has a capacity of 120 boxes an hour, equivalent to 85 kilos of polystyrene. The blocks produced are smaller, but have the same high degree of compaction, about 300 kilos per cubic meter. Compacting used fish boxes turns an expensive waste item into valuable recycling material. At Rooney, we've built up our own sales and distribution network for polystyrene. We can therefore offer a good price for the compacted material. In this shipping container, there are 20 tons of polystyrene, more than 30,000 fish boxes on their way to a new and constructive life. Cosalate in Haunsu have a very different waste material which needs to be compacted. Every day they empty 4,000 tin cans containing various raw ingredients. The empty cans take up a huge amount of space if they're simply removed intact. But Wuni's SK380H is an ideal solution here as well. Two days of production, or about 8,000 cans, are contained in the compacted material you can see in the output tray. It used to be an almost full-time job for one forklift driver to remove the empty cans. Now, they only have to empty the waste container every second day. The much denser material can also be transported for recycling more efficiently, as it can now easily exploit the truck's maximum load capacity. The machine can process 3,500 cans per hour. 
a photocell registers whenever there are cans on the feed conveyor so that the compactor only operates when necessary. Cosellate is a good example of how a Wooly compactor can be integrated into a fully automatic process. Sears Brewery in Aarhus produces large volumes of canned beer. It's not possible to completely avoid production defects like cans which are not properly sealed. They therefore need to dispose of both full and empty cans alike. They use Rooney's SK240H which is able to first empty the cans and then compact them. As an add-on to the basic compactor, Rooney have developed a separator which punctures the cans. This allows 90% of the liquid contents to bypass the compactor. This construction is necessary to avoid small pieces of aluminium washing out with the beer and blocking the drain holes. The system can process up to 10,000 full cans an hour. The compacted cans weigh 350 kilos per cubic meter when loosely loaded into a container. Ecolin in Helsingborg is one of Sweden's largest producers of packaging for milk and fruit juice. They also produce filling machines, and these require a lot of running in and fine-tuning before they can be delivered to the customer. They need to constantly remove and compact their test materials and have therefore integrated Uni's SK380 compactor into their commissioning department. A photocell in the input feed registers whenever it's necessary to start compacting. They mainly use water as a test liquid, but also milk and juice. These are collected and recycled. The compacted and almost dry packaging is transported out into a container. Horni has delivered similar systems to many filling plants, which need to empty and compact defect or expired products. The Skian paper mill produces recycled paper 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Unfortunately, there are many unwanted materials like plastic, metal and wood mixed up in the paper being recycled. These materials, along with some paper pulp and water, are sorted out at various points in the process and transported down into a Rooney SK380H worm compactor. This one is fitted with an ultrasound sensor and a frequency converter. The ultrasound sensor measures how much materials in the input feed and the frequency converter adjusts the compactor's speed accordingly. This ensures minimal energy usage and wear. The intense pressure from the worm drive presses most of the water out of these very absorbent materials. Before the Skiam paper mill invested in a horny system, their waste material contained about 65% water. Now, this has been reduced to just 35% and the waste product is being burned as a supplement fuel in the cement industry. Together with reduced container expenses, this has led to very attractive cost savings. In Norway, Foldale Plaskenvinning have installed two similar Rooney systems in their washing process. The compactors are used to dry the plastic before it's re-extruded. This has led to an improvement in the percentage of dry matter from 68% to 90%. At the Skian paper mill, Rooney have also designed a fully automated distribution system for the compacted waste.
There's room for three containers which are gradually filled, one at a time, via a hydraulic conveyor system. As a container fills up, it's automatically moved forward along a set of rails. This allows it to be evenly filled before loading switches to the next empty container. Bruni has two engineers working on further development of the worm compactor and its add-on components. We're therefore able to adapt our systems to our customers' needs and have a lot of experience in integrating worm compactors into existing processes. The compactor output can be directed into various types of containers or directly into plastic bags as shown here, eliminating dust and bad odour. At Rooney, we strive for flexibility, quality and reliability. Potential applications for a Rooney worm compactor are only limited by your imagination. We're more than happy to do a trial run on any material we haven't encountered before. As we often say, let's put it to the test. People are often surprised at what they can accomplish with a Rooney and not least over the bottom line. We've often seen payback periods of less than a year. In this video, we've presented only a few of the exciting solutions that can be achieved with a worm compactor. We hope they've inspired you. We have many satisfied customers spread over 12 countries. Are you going to be the next person to benefit from a Rooney?